We had left off, finished up with the Tenergy here, and now we're going to try charging with the iCharge 106B. And the original settings I used were, and the battery was at 3.47, so it's back at 3.48, so same, same thing. We tried to charge with 2.5 amps, it, char it ended up charging at 1, 1 amp for 214 minutes, put in 1,851 milliamp hours. And let's plug that in. We're going to go to in LiPo charge 2.5 amps, 3.7 volt, one cell, and start checking battery. There it goes. We can see that it is charging at 0.8 milliamps. So it's actually charging at a lesser amperage than the Tenergy that's, that started at one then the Tenergy, that started at about 1 to 1.1 amps and then sort of scaled down from there. So I was, I was a little bit surprised. I was hoping that this was going to put in a little bit of a higher amperage. But I believe anything in LiPo mode, um, it's going to restrict what you can really do based on the cell, because you know, it's based on the cell chemistry that you're, that you're doing. So I will leave that. All right, well, sorry about that, guys. This thing had, I forgot to turn off the built-in timer. So at 120 minutes, it, it finished and shut off. So I had to start it again, which kind of throws off my graph here, but that's all right. Um, it, it actually stopped at 930 milliamp hours and it stopped, dead stopped at two hours. So I restarted it and we're another hour in. We put 4.21. Uh, sorry, 421 milliamp hours in, and the battery voltage at this time, measuring with multimeter, 3.96. So it's going to take another, I would guess, probably about another hour, a little bit more. And um, in this test so far, it's actually started charging um, at a lower current. But we're going to see if it's actually going to be able to charge it all the way to 4.2, whereas the Tenergy member was only able to charge it at 4.02. From that beeping noise, you can probably hear that the uh, iCharger 106B is finished. It says done, charge 734. That's actually a worse performance than the other charger. Let's bring up the calculator here. That is 1664 milliamp hours. And that took four, four hours 20. And less energy into the battery. So I don't know why these things don't charge all the way to 4.1 or 4.2. That's the one test finish. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a discharge. Lithium charge, uh, discharge, three volts at three amps. We're gonna change that to 2.5 amps. And we're gonna see what happens in this case when we use the LiPo mode. You can see that the amperage is creeping up, but the voltage is dipping and it's gonna stop. It just stopped. So again, I mean, you can probably discharge this at one you can probably discharge this at one amp, or half an amp. It's gonna take forever. So we're gonna back out of here. We're gonna go into nickel cadmium. Uh, no, no. Discharge, five amps. No, we're gonna change that to 2.5 amps. We're gonna discharge all the way down to one volt. And you can see the amperage is ramping up. And we've hit 2.5 amps. And this is the current uh, voltage measurement of the battery. Let's double check that with the multimeter. Multimeter says 3.4. So there's, you know, I mean, the, com the common thing here is that none of these voltages are very accurate. And I'm not sure why in LiPo mode, you can't actually discharge this to three volts um, at, 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 an, at a whatever amperage you're, you're looking to do it at or whatever. So I'm not kind of understanding that. And you have to go into NICAD. So, I would think basically that the, the balancing is going to work out a lot better. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to do balancing and we're going to see if that balances properly, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to charge it through the lithium uh, settings 
this time. It takes way too long. So after this discharge, we're gonna charge it up. We're gonna do a quick charge on it. And then we're gonna stop it around, I would say, I think I'm gonna stop it around 4.1 volts. And then we'll balance, and then we'll, we'll, um, we'll use the balancing lead. Alrighty, you can hear that beep. And with that beep, um, it is discharged 600 and 1,674 milliamps. So that's almost exactly what we put in. We put in 1,664, we took out 1,674. So there's a big plus here if you want to do discharging. This is only gonna maximum, uh, maximum discharge at one amp. This, we can go all the way up to seven amps. Let's just end this and take, let's take the voltage here. We set it to one on nickel cadmium, remember, but the actual voltage of the battery at this point 3.27. That's good enough. We're gonna let it sit here for a minute to sort of get back some of that voltage. What we're gonna try and do now is we're gonna we're gonna charge it up to about 4.1 volts, and then we're gonna connect the balancer and see how long it takes to finish it off. Alrighty, so I'm gonna let this sit here, cool down for a minute. It's it's warm. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 37 degrees Celsius. All right, I'm gonna try charging this quickly here at about to about 4.1 volts. So I have on, it on LiPo, which I'm not sure it's gonna work out, but fast charge, one cell, 3.7. So let's see what happens if I try fast charge at 2.5 amps. It's hitting it at about 1.1 1 1 amp, one amp, somewhere around there. This might take, this is still gonna take too long, even at one amp, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this nickel cadmium Two amps, yeah. Let's 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 charge it at one, roughly at one C here. Okay, so we're charging at 2.5 amps, and now you know we have to keep our eye on this now because we're not in lithium mode. So I'm going to check this every you know 15 minutes or so on the on the multimeter just until we get about 4.1 and then we'll try uh, connecting up the balance port. All right guys, so what I've done is I've connected the balance leads here to the balancing port, and I've got one of the negatives coming out of the balance port into the negative part of the battery, and I guess cell one into the positive side. Now, this is my balance connector there. I don't know what the name of this is. I think it's it's basically like a, like a type of a Molex connector. And this goes into my battery pack here that I have uh, up here. So I have it on LiPo balance charge, 2.5 amp, 3.7 volt, one cell. Now I have it on LiPo balance charge, 2.5 amps, 3.7 volts, one cell. 0.73, it says 4.4 volts, balance one. Now, I don't know what the 4.4 volts actually means. If we do a meter test, if I look at the meter here, we're actually gonna be getting 3.87. Uh, I think this voltage reading might be a little bit, this voltage reading here might be a little bit skewed because I have more more wires creating a little bit more resistance, but if I go into the balancing function and I check out the actual cell, you'll see that it actually reads 3.90. So I think we're in good shape. It's just going to take a little, little while to, to bring this up. We'll leave that until it's charged and hopefully this will hit 4.2. It's finished the balancing in 2 hours, 33 minutes. The cell itself is at 4.16, which is actually very good. Very good. You don't want to charge it uh, much more than that. I mean, you can go to 4.2, but 4.16 is, is good enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to just discharge it here for a bit. We can try rebalancing it with this. So I'm going to let this run for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And once it drops down to about 4 volts. Once it drops down to about 4 volts, we'll hook it up to the energy charger. Okay, that was pretty quick. Measure the voltage of the battery. It's about 4.02. Plug this back into the Tenergy. Go into LiPo. And we are going to balance. Sure, two amps. Doesn't really matter. It's not going to charge that fast anyways. Oh, I have to do two cells. I can't do one cell. So there's a drawback. Can't do one cell. Oh, sorry. Let me charge. Balance. No, I can't do one cell. Uh, let's just go charge. It's gonna tell me over voltage probably. Mm 
Okay, well I guess I can go into charge. So I went into charge and it's going at point, uh, two, point 2 milliamps. And it says it's at 4.10 and it just told me it's full. So again, charge, one cell. It says it's at 4.10, but I don't think it's that high. Point two milliamps. And it says it's full again. So not only it, it can't discharge as quickly as this one, um, and obviously the voltage is way off. It thinks it's four point. Uh, it was reading 4.10, 4.06, and I thought it was full. So anyways, uh, let's let's end this test because um, that was quite a bit of waiting and stopping and going. So that was the charge, regular charge, regular discharge, charging in LiPo mode. It was discharging in LiPo mode, and it was discharging in nickel cadmium mode, and it was balancing on, on both. So I hope this was helpful and maybe you can make a more informed decision when you're going to go buy one of these cheap chargers. I actually have another cheap IMAX B6 coming on its way because I wasn't anticipating on getting this uh, just yet. So that's coming from China. We'll see if it has the same issues as this one. I'm sure it will.